All week, 10 on your side is paying tribute to those lost 10 years ago in the massacre at Virginia Tech. That tragedy shined a spotlight on massive holes in the mental health care system. 23-year-old student Sung Wee Cho, a deeply disturbed and dangerous man, never got the mental health treatment a judge ordered him to receive. Now he slipped through gaping holes in the system. Politicians filled them the next year with two dozen new laws. Now, had those laws been in place then, would it have prevented the shootings? Well, Tony Side asked the executive director at National Alliance on Mental Illness in Virginia. That's the $64,000 question. You know, the system that we have now, the, the, the laws that were changed and tightened and fixed, and the processes and the the services and, and all of that, you know, the awareness, would that have changed anything? And to be, to be truthful, I really don't know. Now, 10 on your side, Stephanie Harris will take a closer look at the changes made to the law where struggling families say we are still falling short as we remember Virginia Tech on Wavy News 10 tonight at 6.